Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and today I am cleaning, decluttering, and organizing my bedroom. And yes, it is awful. It is such a mess, which that is an understatement of a century. But this is real life. This is a real life mess. This is my mess, obviously. It's nothing but a bunch of clutter. But today I'm getting it taken care of. So if you are in need of decluttering, cleaning, and organizing motivation, you are in the right place, my friend. Now, go ahead and put me on the TV, your laptop, tablet, phone, whatever preferred device you are watching this on. Let's go ahead and get it all done together. Okay, so my plan for this year or my New Year's resolutions, the main one is just to become more organized. And that is quite a process, like a learning process. You know, if you're not, I don't want to say I'm not used to organizing because I do certain areas in the home, but I really need to get on top of organizing everything because there shouldn't be, like I hear people have like one or two junk drawers, but I have like so many and then um, my catch-all areas is everywhere in the house. So I just want to stay on top of that. Cause, because for me, I know as the adult, as the mother, you know, just being a parent, I'm already stressed enough as is, you know. And I can only imagine how it feels for my children. And that's less stress that they should have to deal with. It's just, you know, the stress of trying to find stuff. Um, I don't know. It's just... Your home should be comforting. It should be, you know, cozy. You should feel secure in your home and not have a bunch of stress. It should not stress you out. You know what I mean? That's just my thinking. And that's what's really given me the drive. I need to get this house back in order. And I say back in order like it's ever been in order. You know, it's fine. It's fine. We're going to get there. I'm going to start off with my dresser. This is the biggest catch-all in my bedroom, which as you can look around in this video, there's a bunch of catch-all, like even the dog, the kennel. Yeah, let's not talk about that. I just put stuff anywhere and everywhere, and then I'm like, later on, I'll, oh, I'll put that away later, you know, and later just never comes, but today, it was just really... It was really just getting to me. Like, it's been getting on to me for a while now. You know, with my anxiety and all that. And i just been putting it off. I'm like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it this weekend. You know, I'll do it next week. You know, I won't have much to do next week. It'll be fine. But I just wanted to go ahead and just get it taken care of on this day. Just to have a little peace of mind for myself. Because this is my bedroom. And I shouldn't have stress. Like I said, I shouldn't have stress in my bedroom. But I'm going to go ahead and clear everything off. And you're going to see here in a minute, my bed is just covered with a bunch of junk. It gets worse before it gets better. Just remember that. Just remember that. It's fine. We're going to get there. Just take it one step at a time. You tonight, can I have you alone now? I just want to reveal what's on my mind. You tell me that you used to know change it yeah you'll be awakened cause when my love starts working on you it'll take your breath away like never before and as soon as i go na 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 it'll make you feel that good love working show you the art of paradise you tell me that you used to no dreaming but i'm gonna change it yeah i'll take you straight to So 
say these two boxes over here is nothing but decorations. One box is spring and Easter. The other is fall and Halloween. I have been storing them in my closet and my closet is not big enough as is. So I don't know why I was trying to cram those boxes in there. I mean, I have a storage building. It makes a lot more sense to put it there. But uh, yes, I'm gonna here in a little bit, take them off to the storage building. So that'll be a little bit extra room in you know my closet and in my bedroom. And I will say, you will see here shortly that I do have a large pile of clothes over to the right of my bedroom. Those are clothes that my children and also some of my clothes that we just cannot wear anymore. I've been planning on donating them for the past, I wanna say year almost, if not longer. It just seems like every time I go to like make plans to go and take them to donate, I get sick or one of my kids gets sick. Something happens and I'm like, oh, I'll do it next week or I'll do it tomorrow, this weekend, something. But it just seemed like, I mean, obviously it, it has not happened. But I will be happy to say I finally donated them. So I'm making progress. To keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Not sure who I really am, just be cute and super bland. I try to hold it together. Seeing all of this clutter again is really stressing me out. I quit, I cannot tell you how many times. Like, even before I even started, I was like, I'll do it tomorrow, you know, it'll be fine. I'll go hang out with the kids. And I'll do it tomorrow. It'll be fine. But I knew just from me being me that I knew if I didn't start right then and there, like it was just not going to happen because I am one of the world's biggest procrastinator. I always put stuff off till the next day or next week or apparently never. So this day I really, I was really pushing myself really hard to get it all done. Just, you know, taking that step because trust me, there's a lot more to do in this house. So as you probably can already tell from this video, I am very all over the place. Like I cannot focus on one thing at a time. I keep going back and forth to different parts of my room. But I will say what made it kind of easy for me is when I was laying stuff out, I was trying to group stuff that goes in the same room or the same area. That way it'd be easier on me. I could just grab all that. 
put it back in that same area where it belongs and hopefully it will stay but that just made it easier on me to put things away I wasn't you know going from room to room to room you know I had light stuff that went in that area I mean that's like a no-brainer but I'm just gonna say if you are decluttering and like trying to straighten stuff up just you know grouping stuff like stuff together makes it so much easier
This reminds me of that meme. It says something to the effect of washing and drying clothes takes one to two hours roughly. But meanwhile, folding and putting away laundry takes seven business days. That would be me. I don't know what it is with laundry. Like, you know, once you get into that rhythm of folding, it's not that bad. At least for me. Maybe it's just because I don't have that much clothes to really fold and put away. My oldest, he does help me for the most part with his clothes. So that does take a little bit off of me. But yeah, just getting that motivation to actually get to folding clothes, it takes a lot for me. Anyway, now I would much rather fold and put away laundry than doing dishes by hand. I don't know if anyone else can relate to that. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But, you know, once I put music on, I don't know. I've always been really big into music. I love music. Now, I don't love all music. I'm just going to be honest. I can't do country. Believe it or not, I cannot do country. It's just something about today's country. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, like, what's your least favorite chore to do? And what type of music are you into? I would love to know. Best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. Okay, this is the moment that I actually realized I was making progress in my room. Like, my dressers were cleaned off and everything, which is great. But actually getting rid of all of these boxes, especially the boxes of clothes that has been sitting in my room for about a year, if not longer. It just, I felt like such a huge wave of relief getting rid of all that. And also, I did end up donating all of these clothes, which was a 
awesome feeling just giving to someone in need. I have been wanting to do that for a long time now. I mean, I could have turned around and sold those clothes, which would have been beneficial for myself and my kids. Just that way I could have turned around and bought them new clothes with that money. But it has been weighing heavily on my heart to donate. And a lot of those clothes were winter clothes. And, you know, of course, we are in winter time. It's only going to get colder from here on out. Actually, last week, we were in a single digits. And this week, we're almost in the 60s. It's crazy. The weather is crazy. But, uh, yeah, if those clothes can help one child at least, then that is great. That just makes it worth the while going through all of those clothes and everything. But now I am going to go ahead and clean off this disgusting ceiling fan. It has been a while since I have cleaned it off, apparently. Um, I am using the Mrs. Meyer spray in the, I believe it's the snowdrop scent. And I am using a old pillowcase. I just think it's a lot easier to clean it this way. And I do go back over it just to make sure I got all of the dust off. Okay, so I am totally taken back what I said earlier. I would much rather hand wash dishes than clean that fan off again. I mean, the ceiling fan was disgusting as well, but that fan right there was a pain to clean. But now I am moving on to vacuuming. It is my favorite thing to do. It sounds weird, but it's kind of therapeutic to me. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the vacuum lines, but I feel like I can do my best thinking when I'm vacuuming. Is that weird? Probably.
I don't know if you can see it or not, but my daughter, my youngest daughter, had gotten a hold of my cup that was on my side table and spilled some in the floor. Accidents happened. It was really my bad. I shouldn't have had my cup there in the first place, but it was time to go ahead and clean these carpets really good. Not only right there, but around Emma's kennel especially. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. I don't know what it was about this day, but it felt like it took forever to finish doing the carpets. Just broken, I need my time Wanna speak so loud even though I hide Like I'm hypnotized, can't get out of here You don't know me, I just need my time Yeah, but they say Four years later and I am finally finished with my bedroom seriously it felt like it took forever now I'm just gonna put everything back and that is it for this video I hope it gave you the motivation to tackle at least one area in your home if not we'll get there eventually I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one